Oh, you want help? <laughs> Moral improvement. Is that it? <laughs> well, the main thing to improve yourself morally is be less of an ass. But in the meantime, to speed things along, pay up, and I'll make things right for you. Thank you. Now, go and be a decent human being. You'll find it has its own rewards. There you are. How'd you get on? He got on just fine. You know he did. What? I know he did. Yeah, see it in the sky. You smell it in the air. He ain't no saint, but he's a good un, a fine man in a nasty world. What? An American, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the madam picked well. Horley, this fellow'll do more than Avenger. With any luck, he'll save us all. Oh, there ain't no luck, Mr. Jones. It's just a man's heart. Not much else. Well, he's got a good one. A fine one. Send him to help out the marshal. The whole damn place is going to shit. And we need more good fellas to let us loons rant in peace and howl at the moon in safety. Maybe. Oh, but, but, don't you and the madam kill the boy with vengeance, nor kill him inside with grief. Like you said, he's no saint. Like I always say, if you need to earn some money and stay somewhat out of trouble, go see Marshal Davies. He's supposed to stop every bastard killing innocent folk. Of course, uh, it's the nature of the thing that good men go bad, and bad men, some of them go good. But the marshal will see you right on that. The world always needs good men, and finds it easier to birth the bad ones. So you're Horley's protégés, huh? He sent word you was decent. I hope so. This land is full of scum. I spend most of my time thinking they're better off left to it. Ah, they're good uns. Real good uns. Heart of pure cold. Go away, old man. I told you to go away. I'm going, Mr. Marshall. I'll go. Tom Davies, U.S. Marshal. See? I'm going. Been sent on a trail of a band of killers. I'm still going. This one, uh... Alfredo Montez killed a family up near Thieves' Landing. Did some unspeakable things. He's one in four states and two countries. Now, I think he's holed up near Manzanita Post. You take a ride with me to take a look? All right, then. Let's go. Now, I cannot be seen to get too close to any of this. I'd be causing a crime or whatever the damn law is. The thing is, is, uh... Well, anyway, here's Lee. The fellow we're supposed to meet. Hello, Tom. Uh, friends, how's it going, Lee? Yeah, Montez is wily. You know it and I know it. He knows we're coming, Tom. He's holed up and they're waiting for us. Place is crawling with guards, patrols, everything. It's gonna be tough, you know? Mm. Well, that's what I pay you all for. <laughs> Paying us to do your job. Well, I can't go and kill a man in cold blood, Lee. Not while I don't have the evidence I need. But I can turn a good old-fashioned blind eye to an unfortunate dispute that I did not see and results in the death of some undesirables, the cause of which is unknown to me and other authorities. Is that clear? Nope. Not remotely. And that's perfect. <laughs> good luck in there. <sighs> All right, come on, let's go. Well, how do you get on? Just fine, just fine. Well, here, here's his head. Oh, very civilized. Yep. <laughs> well, this should show folks that we're willing to bring law and order any way we can. <laughs> but this ain't Montez. Hmm? At least it ain't Alfredo Montez. That's his brother. Ah. Here's some money. Lee, here's yours. You lot, here's yours. 
It's less than I promised, but more than nothing. Given that you killed the wrong brother, it's mighty generous of me. <laughs> now, let's be clear. Jorge Montez was a no-good son of a bitch with a price on his head. Only in that family was he considered a saint. All right, friends. I'll be seeing you. Maybe up in Van Horn, if you have any chance. <laughs> My next lead is that maybe uh, Alfredo Montez will be there. <laughs> Kill the wrong goddamn bastard. Well, I never. Well, these things happen, Lee. In fact, they happen more often than we like to admit. There you are. Look, I'm a marshal, so my jurisdiction ends at the city limits. Even if the town in question is a no-good dump like Van Horn. I go in there, I got even less rights than you do. Any decent hoodlum knows that. Montez is in there. At least I think he is. Some of his boys are in there. He's in there, Mr. Marshall, like I told you. This is Josie Dawson. He's in there or his boys are. Hold up in my saloon. We'll, we'll get your saloon back. Or they will. Thank you kindly. Now, the others said there'll be more coming down from up north. They's talking about some folks killed Jorge Montez. Well, you go... When that was us. You go see if you can find the bastard. Or kill some of his men as they head into town. Do both. Just don't get caught by any law. What you're doing is highly illegal. Highly moral, too. So in my book, it's okay. I just can't do it myself. Good luck. Well, I made some food if you're hungry. Oh, yes, ma'am. That would be mighty fine. Oh, hey. I, I heard from your friend, Mr. Horley. He said thank you for helping his mistress. She and he are very grateful. Anyway, you should get going. Alfredo Montez. It's been quite a time chasing you, my friend. I know you. I will kill you. I think that's unlikely. A whole lot more likely is you're going to have your neck broken while these folks here watch and laugh and say what a nasty bastard you We were. shall see. A thousand dollars to whoever sets me free. Well, these folks here have something money can't buy. <sighs> Honor, dignity, and a sense that not everything is for sale. And they are as foolish as you. And they are. But they're still getting paid a fair price for a job well done. <laughs> there you are. Still a good soul, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Real nice. Uh, but your new friend, the Marshal, he's having problems. More problems. With your even newer friend, Montez. They're in the uh, sheriff's office in Valentine. He asked me to ask you if you can bring a goddamn posse and come armed. Can you do that? <laughs> yeah, I thought you could. Best get going. Tom, who are they? Well, they're with me. Let me go. Tom, not to put too fine a point and upon I'll it. And I'll let you all but we live. Are deep shit. Pardon my language. Now, he's talking sense. We're all adults here, Bob. Sure as shit is shit. They'll be back until they freed Montez, and we and every decent person in this town is dead. You know what, Bob? Montez. I'm a man of many contradictions. I thought long and hard about a speech about ethics, about responsibility, about rule of law. Then I decided I'd just do this and hang the consequences. You, you killed him! No shit. So that's one less problem we gotta worry about. Now what was the real problem in this town? His boys will be back to kill us all. Well, then we better get prepared. Tom, you and your friends saved my town. And Montez died in the conflict. Exactly. He, uh, died in the conflict. Thank you. Thanks to all of you. In towns, it's the sheriffs that run things. But we help out where we can. Thank you. You've been a great help in all this business. It's been my pleasure. I hope to see you again. Not too soon, I hope. Well, thanks again.
They're gonna hang young Tom Davies. Your friend, the marshal, hang him for being your friend and doing good in a bad world. Montez's boys are gonna teach goodness a lesson. Teach law a lesson. Tell order it don't exist no more in this chaos of a world. They got him in tumbleweed and they're gonna lynch him. Or they're gonna lure you in there and lynch all you. Guess you'll have to figure that out. Get! Come on, let's go! Marshal Davies crossed the line when he killed Alfredo there. Killed him without due process. No judge or jury, just an executioner. He crossed the line, and now Alfredo's men, they're crossing it too. When good folks break the rules, well, they should know that bad folks are just gonna break them worse. Now the executioner is himself condemned. I only hope this bunch waits a while longer than Davis did to carry out the deed. But he might already be done for when we arrive. Sure, we'll save him if we can. But if we can't, well, either we'll join him or we will see it right. You gotta help! The whole town's overrun! Bandits have the marshal and the sheriff too! They're gonna hang him any moment! The sheriff too? Sounds like we're here in time at least. Come on! Here we are. Get ready for a fight, folks. They're out for blood. The marshals and ours too, I'm sure. Listen here. These two men are killers. The worst kind of killers. The kind that hide behind the law. So today, Marshal Davies and Sheriff Freeman are going to get what's coming. Do it. If I could do it, I'd kill him again. Do it! Tom! I wasn't sure about you, Mr. Jones. But then you went and saved my neck. Well, I ain't gonna make a habit of it. All of you, thank you. I mean it, thank you. Yes, thank you. I don't like requiring help, but this time I did. Marshal Davies, all of you, thank you. <laughs> Ain't that fine. I was thinking we should leave before Montez's ghost decides to pay us any further visits. So you are a good fella, Mr. Jones. Me? No, never. I just like watching what other folks is, that's all. There's a word for fellas like you. Wise? Is that the word? Come, Marshal. Help me get home. Been quite enough excitement for a clapped out old fool, well past his best, for one day! Friends, I'll see you again, I hope. But next time, under better circumstances, I trust. 